The southeast corner of the upper town is an ideal in white. The Church of St. Catherine flanks a small square. A quiet spot for high school students and tourists. The former Jesuit monastery is now the Museum of Klovice Vidvori. Now it presents an exhibition about ancient life and death. Pompeii, Life in the Shadow of Vesuvius. It is presented by the senior curator, Yasmina Bavoljak. When we started to prepare the exhibition, our intention was to ennoble the objects from the Archaeological Museum in Naples. We received 110 exhibits, but without a context. There is the problem of how to communicate with the audience. Therefore, they divided the exhibits into sections like home, victims, garden, banquet, eroticism. And made simulations about everyday life in the town. This life is so well known because of a catastrophe. The volcano Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. Volcano ash buried the entire city. The shapes of its suffocated citizens have remained preserved too. But because of that disaster, now we know a lot about city life at the pinnacle of the Roman Empire. Tintinabulae hung on the doors of Roman houses to jingle and keep away ghosts. The economic section includes coins and piggy banks. These are glass jars for mixing wine, drinking glasses and cups. A relic of Roman housewives, cake moulds in the form of shell and heart. As an element of adaptation and better perception of Pompeii, we magnified the frescoes from the Villa of the Mysteries. The villa was named after the mysteries shown on its walls. It's the initiation of a girl into the cult of Dionysus. Erotic frescoes were a common sight in Roman homes. The god Pan attacking a nymph was a frequent theme. Sexuality was mixed with fertility cults. Phalluses were used as talisman. When children were born, they received phalluses as symbols of abundance. The level of craftsmanship was impressive. When I mentioned beautiful jewellery, I primarily meant this necklace of ivy leaves. It was found in fragments and reassembled over the years. It all speaks about the civilization of the Romans, the ancestors of unified Europe. It is worth taking a peek.